I just couldn't believe it because they were so small. It just, I honestly can't tell you. It's a feeling that unless you go through it, you can't really explain it. When I got to the hospital, I was three centimeters dilated. We started trying to do a normal delivery, but Mariah's cord prolapsed, which is the cord came out before the baby. So they had to push the cord back in and did an emergency C-section. Mariah was ventilated and Milan got on CPAP. I wasn't recovering as quickly as I thought. So I didn't see them, I would say for at least six hours after they were born. I just felt helpless. And as a mother, you wanna do everything you can for your children and I couldn't do anything. Mariah was one pound 14 ounces. Milan was one pound 13 ounces. You know, normally you wanna rub a baby's back. You couldn't do that because there's, with them being under two pounds and so early, their skin was still sticky. I couldn't even feed them. Like they were getting fed through tubes. It just, sorry, I might cry. Um, you just, I don't know. Even to this day, I don't know how I did it. At that time, the only thing that was expected was for them to be able to breathe, just trying to keep them stable. You can't predict their future when they come so that early. I didn't think they would be doing this good. The fact that they did not leave on any oxygen, developmentally, they're not really worried. They say they're on track for their corrected age. I'm very proud. Milan is very outgoing. Mom. She's the louder one. Mariah is the more calm one sometimes. She's starting to get out her shell, but she's definitely more laid back. She's more shy. I definitely give a lot of credit to Nationwide Children's Hospital. I'm just very thankful that everybody has helped us get to where we are. And if without the team, the doctors, my support system, we wouldn't have gotten here.